Today we'll be looking at this riddle I found online. I'm gonna solve the question as we go along and I'll try to explain my answer. Let's take a look. Now what I want you to do is pause if you like, stop the video and tell us in the comment your answer and why. Do you think this plane is going to take off or not? I'll wait. Now here comes my answer. Before I answer it, let's all make sure we are all on the same page on that question. This right here is to say that this plane is moving this way. The belt is moving that way, which is the opposite, at the exact same speed. That renders the plane stationary and in its place, even though the wheels are making it move at a very high speed. In order to answer this question, one must understand what makes a plane fly and how does it take off in the first place. When a plane is moving, what is it that causes thousands of pounds to leap off the ground into the air? First of all, the jet engines under the plane wings don't exactly make it take off directly. They just make it move forward at a high speed. Second, it's important to realize that the shape of the plane is not accidental for flight. It is aerodynamic, like bullets. The shape of the wing, specifically, isn't accidental, and it is what I'm going to focus on to answer this riddle. As planes move forward, they encounter air resistance, the same way you feel the air against your face as you ride your bicycle. Look close at the wings now. Given the shape design, if the plane is moving through air with the wings at this angle, this causes a force this way upwards. You can try this when you are driving in a car. Take your hand out of the window. Now change the angle and tilt your hand at the wrist clockwise, just a little bit. You'll find that your hand is moving upwards. Wings of a plane operate the same way. This is known as a lift force. The higher the speed of the plane, the larger the lift force is on the bottom of the wing. Planes have a built-in moving mechanical part that extends this way to create this angle which creates the lift force where the air hits the wing from the bottom, lifting it up. And what comes in play here is Newton's third law. Every action has a reaction of the same force in the opposite direction. As we said before, this is called a lift force for obvious reasons, and it is what makes a plane take off the ground as it increases speed and encounters the air. Going back to our problem, this plane may be moving really fast, but it turns out that this plane does not encounter the air resistance because it is stationary, since the conveyor belt cancels out its movement in the opposite direction. You can go out and test this yourself. Go in a sprint and feel the air against your face and body. Then do the same and run on a treadmill at almost the same speed when the treadmill is moving. The treadmill is going to represent the conveyor belt in the riddle and you will not feel the air against your face or body. Since there is no air against the wing and under it, there is no lift force in this riddle. And if there is no force, there is no reaction force and therefore the plane will not take off. I really hope you enjoyed this, make sure to keep a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this or videos that are not like this because I make a lot of videos of different sorts. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you next time.